Now, IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kochavi is making hard choices this week, ordering all soldiers in closed units to be kept on base until further notice. The Army had essentially canceling leave then for any unit not yet vaccinated or green effective immediately. And this is in light of dangerously high and still rising coronavirus infection rates. Han Rifkin with the details. Despite roughly a third of the population getting at least one of two vaccine doses and an ongoing lockdown, cases of coronavirus in Israel still rising to a dangerous national contagion rate of 9.2 percent. That's roughly one in every 11 people being infected. Leading Israeli HMOs then to call on the government to open vaccine eligibility to all age groups, especially as turnout has seemingly started to plateau. And as the total number of active cases overnight rises to over 71,300, 1,143 in serious condition and 4,863 dead. Meanwhile, contrary to the falling number of cases in the Haredi sector, the infection rate among the ultra-Orthodox still remains at nearly double the national average, with roughly one in every six being sick. And this largely caused by continuing protests and massive illegal super-spreader events. The disparity, however, drawing increasing criticisms from the public over lack of equal enforcement in COVID restrictions. Police seen fining and reprimanding individuals spaced meters apart in Tel Aviv for drinking coffee in Dissengoff Square and within distances from home allowed by the law, all while tens of thousands in ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods flood the streets with no opposition. Wow, wow, wow. That said, it's unclear for which reason the man was detained, be it breaking restrictions or running from police. In any case, police superintendent Asia Haroni responding in that enforcement between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv is just different, adding that while the latest funeral event saw 15,000 people, it could have been 100,000 had the police not blocked dozens of buses from reaching the area. Further, he says that had police used force to disperse the crowds, there would have been hundreds trampled or worse.